beauty, color, art. Often viewed as translucent pictures, stained glass windows are a complex mosaic of bits of colored glass joined with lead into an intricate pattern illustrating biblical stories and the lives of saints. The origins of the first stained glass windows are hard to determine, but techniques on how to make it were first described by a monk named Theophilus in 1100 AD. Often categorized into two distinct forms, stained glass is either faceted or leaded. Faceted, also known as contemporary glass, is stronger and adds color and a subtle tone to a room. Leaded or traditional glass tends to be used more to create images and symbols. Today, stained glass is all around us. Throughout the Archdiocese of Miami, sacred art can be seen in virtually any church or chapel. We visited four churches within the Archdiocese whose stained glass windows stand out. Join us as we visit St. Bartholomew and St. Elizabeth of Hungary in Broward County and St. Mary's Cathedral and Jesu in Miami-Dade. Jesu would be the oldest, probably some of the oldest stained glass, because simply it's one of the oldest churches um, in the Archdiocese and it's in the most traditional kind of a looking uh, stained glass. At St. Mary's Cathedral, all of the windows along the bottom are different uh, images of Mary with different titles. Lady of Lourdes, or Lady of Fatima, or Lady of Grace. So they basically said, we're going to do a, a lot of Our Lady windows. And so that's what all the windows are. Uh, they may do scriptural themes. When we did uh, the windows here in our church, one side of the room was uh, about word, story of salvation. The other side was about sacrament. So you got the kind of the two pillars of the church, word and sacrament. St. Elizabeth of Hungary, there's some of the newer glass in the archdiocese. Uh, uh, those were, I believe, put together uh, by, uh, by Carl Dupre, and uh, he, he blends traditional as well as uh, pretty contemporary themes in what he's done. Local artist Carl Dupre has been designing and creating stained glass for 40 years. Originally from Belgium, Carl moved to Miami in 1968. We visited Carl in his Miami studios and he demonstrated the process of making stained glass windows. Once the design is uh, made and approved, you have to uh, redraw it in black and white, like this here, and you have to draw the lines exactly as you see them on the design. Once this is finished, you spray them so that the uh, charcoal does not come off. And then once that finished, you bring the cartoon to the coloring presentation. After drawing the cartoon, the colors that will be used for the window are carefully chosen. Typically, 30 colors are used per stained glass design. Once the color selection is finished, the pattern is outlined and each section is assigned a number that corresponds to a color. Then, each pattern is cut out. Using the pattern as a stencil, the glass is then cut. When all the glass is cut, we bring the pieces that have to be painted to the light box. And first of all, what we paint is a, what we call a tracing. In this case, it's the head of a little girl. Once the shading or the coating is being put on, you have to blend it out so it's nice and even. After that, it has to dry. Once it's dry, with other brushes, we're going to pick out the highlights, the cheeks, forehead, the eyes, the chin, etc. Next, strips of lead are installed in between the glass pieces in order to give the window shape and hold it together. Once complete, the glass is put into a kiln overnight. Once the glazing, the putting in lead is finished, which we call the glazing, we bring it to the, st the studio, to the other place, to 
rubbing the compound. Then the glass is cleaned thoroughly. Once that is finished, it's ready for installation. And this will be installed this month. From start to finish, the process of creating the glass artwork for a church can take more than a year to complete. Using an array of colors, stained glass windows allow sunlight to trickle into a church and add warmth and beauty to them. Whether it be a traditional window depicting a biblical occurrence, such as Elijah being taken into heaven on a chariot of fire, or a more modern contemporary design, such as the right to life that illustrates the importance of choosing life over abortion, stained glass windows are more than a picture, they tell a story. If you would like to visit any of the churches we featured in this story, visit our website at www.miamiarch.org for their address.